two things covered on page 419 uh, above the purple box. In the purple box, let's first start with the purple box concept. The concept of degrees and radians, and I have the, the, quadrat, the quadrants here drawn with some uh, degree ratio, degrees and radians. Now, first of all, what is the difference between degrees and radians? Very often you're going to be given something in degrees, you're going to need radians. Radians, you're going to need degrees. Let's just remember that over here at 180 degrees, remember this is pi radians. And remember, pi is just a number. It's just 3.14. It's just convenient because it's an irrational number. We don't want to, like E, we don't want to write all the decimal points. So 180 degrees is 3.14 dot 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 or pi radians. Radians, degrees is our units of measure. Now, so the question would be, what happens, uh, what is 30 degrees? If I have 30 degrees, how many radians is that? Well, I'm using the variable x. 30 degrees equals x radians. How many? How do I know that? So if I give you 30 degrees, how can you figure out how many radians? There's two ways. The number one way is to find it. If you don't, if you can't remember it, uh, then you just say, well, 30, you just do the ratio. 30 is to 180 as x is to pi because this ratio will always give it. So now you multiply the pi over here, you got x by itself. So x is equal to 30 divided by 180 times pi. Well, this is goes to 3 divided by 18, or 1 divided by 6, and becomes x equals pi over 6. So it's a very quick way to get back and forth. You can use the same thing if I gave you a radians measure and needed to get back to degrees. Same thing. Just use a ratio. Remember, 180 is equal to pi. Now. The thing that's above that in the, in the textbook on page 419 is a picture. Now, I highly encourage you to go to the website or to go to a website or to do this yourself. Find a nice picture. I haven't got a complete one drawn here. Get all of the quadrants. And what you want is to have all the 30 degree measures written down there. These are very popular triangles. The ACT will assume that you know these off the top of your head. They will not give you the formula sheets for them. They will not let you. If you have to use a calculator for them, you've blown it because the ACT assumes you do not need to use the calculator very often. So they'll assume that you understand that 30 is pi over 6, 60 is pi over 3. And just let's look at this logic for just a minute. 180 is pi. Half of that is pi over 2. Uh, twice of that is 2 pi. So the 90 degree measures, 90, 180, 270, back to 360, are in terms of halves. Pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2. Uh, now we can go to the 60 degree measures, which is, there's 60, 120, 180. Now we divide it into thirds, the 180, and everything's based upon 180 because 180 is pi. So now 60 is pi over 3. So 2 sixties is 2 times pi over 3, or 2 pi over 3. 3 sixties is 3 pi over 3, or just pi. That's what he's showing us there in the textbook. He's not drawing all of the details out either. Uh, you can go to, that's 3 sixties, you can go to 4 sixties, uh, which would be 180 plus 60. So that would be, what, 240? I have my math right. The so this this is uh, pi over three, two pi over three, three pi over three, and this is equal to four pi over three. You, you get the picture. Now that breaks it up into thirds. Now the thirty is the other one. Well, it's pretty easy because sixty half of sixty is thirty. So pi over three. So half of that is pi over six. So you can now break things down into 30, 60, 90. With that, if you can remember the 30, 60, 90 stuff in the pi over 6, pi over 3, and pi over 2, if you can remember that, you've got those problems on the ACT pretty much licked. Everything becomes very simple because you just know it. Almost everything they give you on these tests is based upon one of these angles. Now you can take this further. What's well, half of 30? It's 15. So I can say a 15 degree angle. Well, it's half of that. So therefore it's pi over 12. So I can get down to anything at 15. 
Remember, the tests like the ACT and the SAT are focusing not on uh, your ability to crunch out things in a calculator. They're focused on the ability, do you understand what you're doing?